Hello, fellow diamond painting addicts, and welcome back to Diamond Painting Anonymous. I'm Daphne, and I'm here today with an exciting unboxing. I am going to be uh, doing the Mikathon, which is running in February. I actually asked in the group, um, the Facebook group, which if you're not a member of that, check the link down below. I have a Facebook group and a Facebook page. Uh, what events people were going to be doing for February. And I had seen a note that somebody was going to be doing the Meekathon or a Meekathon in February, which gives me the perfect excuse to get this out. And I'm going to get to mark lots of things off of my list. So what am I marking off? First off, this is a Diamond Art Club, and it is the oldest kit currently in my stash. My oldest kit used to be my Firefly Fireworks, but I finished that one. So this one I ordered at the same time, Black Friday of 2020. So it's been hanging around in my stash since then. I had kind of avoided it because it had a lot of 310, but I love the image and I've never done a Mika Jelena before. So this is going to also let me cross off uh, something on my artist series, which is the um, this kit by Mika Jelena because I've never done one by her. So that lets me mark that off. So the oldest one in my stash for the Diamond Art Club Challenge, uh, Mika Jolina for me, because I've never done one of hers before, so that's going to be in my artist series. And yeah, so what am I doing? I am doing Jules and Vern. And there's a lot of black in this one, and her face is very white, which is another reason that I had avoided it. It is a round kit. Uh, however, I'm going to open this while I'm talking. I have seen some things people have been doing to kind of help with the issues that you get with a lot of white and some things that I'm going to be trying, which I will be sharing with you when I get to that point. Let me get all this plastic off of here. It's going to make me cut it again. Okay, there we go. Now it's coming off. Okay, so let me get rid of that plastic. Okay, and now we can get into the box. You guys, I'm so excited. Because again, this is the oldest one in my kit. Oh man, it's so old. The cardboard is breaking as I open it. That's funny. Okay. Oof, there's that. Now, like I said, I bought this back in 2020. So let's see what I get in here. Okay, I think that's everything out of the box. So... I get the little sticker for my uh, log book, Jules and Vern by Mika Jelena. It is round. It is 22 by 22 or 56 by 56. I do get stickers, but like I said, this is old enough that these are not pre-cut, so I will have to cut them myself when I do the kit up. 38 colors, and it looks like I have one white AB. And I just love this image, so I'll be saving this for my log book as well, but yeah, just, I love this. I love steampunk, first of all. So she's got the hat with the gears and there's little like potions and things and a key and her little monocle. And she's got this tattoo and a little thing in her arm that holds things as well. And then the cute little owl who has his little top hat as well and his little vest and his monocle. And yeah, now this is going to be a lot of dark colors. Um, and then some white. So I'll be interested to see how it goes. But it's not huge. It's only 56 by 56. And it's round. So hopefully both of those things will make it go a little bit faster. So let's see what is in our toolkit. Remember, this is an old kit. So we get whoo, two plates of wax that have been smooshed. They've been in there so long. A tray, a scrunchie, a pin lots of little baggies, and then a four-placer. Which I gotta say, if I'm gonna get a multi-placer, I love the four-placer, that's my favorite. Okay, so let me put all these little baggies back in there. I don't ever use these baggies, but if you guys do, this is the kind of thing where I add in some stickers and things, and that's be what I send out in my random acts of kindness. Okay, there's my tool kit. So let's get into the actual kit here and see you guys, I feel kind of silly opening this because I have so many things going on at the moment. I currently have, what do you count as whips? Do you count it if it's open? Do you count it once it's kitted up? Do you count it once you lay drills? 
I've got various things. I've got a Treasure Studios art and two Heaven and Earth that have been opened, um, but nothing kitted up. One Heaven and Earth has been kitted up. The other one hasn't. Then I have an, a third Heaven and Earth that is kitted up and I'm currently working on. So I'm definitely calling that a work in progress. I have my SpongeBob, which is kitted up, but I haven't worked on it. And then I'm working on my penguins and my uh, Enchanted Forest. And now I'm going to be working on this one. So, yeah, me who before couldn't open anything until I finished the previous one, I guess is just now opening all the things. So, ooh, I'm liking the colors of this already. I know it's going to be a lot of black, but that's the biggest thing that has been kind of holding me back from doing this one is that it is so much black. I know it's going to be a ton of black, and because it's an older kit, I'm afraid the drills aren't going to be very good. Okay, I've got the kit just, or the canvas laying in the floor so it can kind of relax a little bit. So instructions, I don't need those, won't use them. And we've got our drills. And as you can see, right on the top there, there's two, only two bags of 310. Maybe this won't be as bad as I think. Okay, let me go rescue the kit from the floor. I've kind of laid it out and we'll see what's what. Okay, it's a little too big for me to catch everything um, on the can on the camera, but I'll move it around. So as you can see, it's a diamond art club. We've got our schematic on both sides. There's one here, there's one over here at the bottom. It is nice and clear as far as symbols go. Her face has guide circles on it, which is not my favorite thing, but I've got a, hopefully a trick that's going to help if I don't get things placed exactly perfectly. Yeah, I'm super excited about this. Okay, so there is quite a bit of black. There's a big section of multi-placing black here. There's a bunch of black over there, but it's in very big sections. Now, of course, there's going to be outlining on her face and pretty much everything else, but only two bags. That doesn't seem like very much. I mean, I had, I want to say 11 bags of 310 when I did my Hannah Lynn which that one was bigger than this one, but still. And maybe that's, you know, maybe there's more than that 310 in there, we'll see. So I have an AB, which is the number one. Where are those? There's some down here on her arm. Oh, in here in her eye is where those are gonna be and some on the owl. And then of course we've got the 5200 for her skin with her little freckles. And yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to take a look and see it if I have other ABs that I could throw into this. I don't have a ton of round ABs. Maybe I'll get fancy smancy and order some. I keep meaning to do that and I just haven't done it. So I may get to that. Okay, so it is, it's a diamond art club. Yeah, it's nice and sticky. And it is a 56 by 56, so let's measure this. It is well, I'm go. Oh, wait, I moved it there. It is just a skosh under 56 this way and this way, same. It's like two millimeters under 56 centimeters. So 56 by 56, roughly. And I've got the 1AB. So let's see. I just love, I love her eyes. I've never done, like I said, this is sort of the same style for me. It feels like it's Jasmine Beckett Griffith, and I've done several of hers, but I've never done a Mika Jolina, so I'm curious to see what the difference is going to be like. Sorry for all the crinkling. Let me get these drills open, and let's see what we got. Okay. Ooh. All right. So Diamond Art Club, of course, at the very beginning. Let me move these around. We've got our AB drills, our white ABs, and then we've got like a very light tan, a kind of an in-between, it's like a brownish gray, a very pale tan, like a, a mocha color, ooh, a very pretty like baby blue, another kind of greenish gray, and then we've got a dark blue and kind of an olive green and then we've got a dark gray and a tan 
And then we've got a very dark, like brick red, a slate blue, a very dark blue. And then we've got two packages of that very dark red. And we've got some very dark brown, some white, and then those two bags of 310. If that's all the 310 that's in there, I'm gonna kick myself that I've avoided this for so long thinking it was gonna be so much 310. That's so much less than I expected it to be. Okay, ha ha. All right, so we had two. Here's three more bags of, or four more bags of 310. However, that's still only six bags. That's way less than the 11 or 12 I had with Hannah Lynn. And this picture is smaller, so yeah. Okay, so that makes me feel slightly better that I've avoided it this long. All right, what else have we got? We've got a, like a dove gray. We've got two very light shades of purple and then a purple, kind of a mustard color, a very dark purple, a mocha, another purple, a dark brown. Is that two different shades? Yeah, two different shades of gray. Two different shades of blue, a very light blue, and then a slightly darker blue. We've got another brown, another gray. We've got a very pretty turquoise, a dark navy blue, two more shades of brown with a grayish tinge. This one is lighter than that one. And then another dark blue. So yeah, I'm, I'm definitely, I think, going to look into what other um, ABs I could add into this. I like that she's got the ABs in her eyes, but I'm just wondering, ooh, I've got some metallic diamond dots that I could use. Let me grab those really quick. I've got these metallic diamond dots. I'm going to keep these with this kit because definitely I think that's something I could use. And then I've got a couple, I think I have some pinks and some baby blues. Maybe the baby blues would work as well. I don't think I saw any really pinks, but this kind of pale baby blue might work. I will set that with that. Those are both diamond dots. And then I'll have to go through my spare round drills and see what I've got as far as ABs in those. I should have several different colors to pick from because I used a bunch of ABs with Diana. So yeah, definitely going to go through this and see if there are some that I can either use and or maybe some that I can order. But I want to look through and see what colors go where before I decide. But I'm pretty sure I'm going to use my metallic ones because that'd be awesome. And I've not had a place to use those before. So I think that would make it really great. Okay. That's it for me today, guys. I'm going to be doing this one for the Mikathon in February, like I said. So you'll probably be seeing it again as I kit it up. I got to go on an AB hunt first, but then you'll be seeing it and I'll be working on it this month. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you're working on this month as far as events go. I mean, you can tell me what you're working on, even if it's not for an event. But if it is for an event, tell me that too. That's it for me today, guys. Thanks so much for sticking around till the end of the video. Before you leave, don't forget to do all the things. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and hit that bell notification icon so that you can be informed of future uploads. And as always, guys, thanks so much for watching.